Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into our Let's Play of Civilization VI with Canada. Um, working on wonders already. Uh, it is only it's turn forty-seven. We should have more cities by now, but we're gonna we're gonna take the delayed approach with the government plaza and stuff like that. Uh, we can also now pick our dedication. I do think monumentality will have its benefits in this era, um, even if it is an outstanding. Uh, because basically we're going to want to waltz our settlers over and settle some nice new uh, uh, faith-ridden tiles here because of our earth goddess. Uh, and we'll just we'll just prioritize those first uh, and hopefully get some mileage out of that type of stuff. So I do think that this is fine, taking monumentality. We could also look at Exodus, I suppose. Only one prophet gone. We know everybody, so we know that there's... Uh, she's already got... Um, She's already got Stonehenge, so she's got that covered. So p potentially Dido and uh, and Korea could go for a religion. And then if that happens and these three have their religion, uh, Arabia will get the fourth and I will be the odd man out. So probably not super interested in religion because of the, the landscape, even though it looks okay. We just don't know what they would take as far as dedications. And if they grab Exodus and then also have a holy site, we're going to be in trouble. Now they may not go for a religion, and so we could wind up we wind up just sneaking through a religion here real quick. But um, I think I want money mentality. It's actually a bit of a toss up. I think it's too risky. I'm just gonna grab money mentality. I, th I think it's just a little bit too risky. It's close. I also don't know that the benefit of having the religion would even come into play for us this game. So uh, a little bit of religious tourism era score. Always good. Defending against the religious victory. Oh, man. Now I'm talking to myself into it. <sighs> indirectly. Indirectly, religion could do a lot for us. Man. Man. What if we do it? What if we take it? What if we take it? We don't have a ton of faith. So we're not missing out on that much. And then if we get the religion, it could theoretically help us get another Golden Age next era in which, in which monumentality would shine. I still think it's too risky. I still think it's too risky. I, I like the idea of being able to defend against their religious victories quite a bit, but I think monumentality. It's close. It's very close, I think. All right, so we can activate our scouts again. Not that shutting them down really helped. We can clear this. Starting with a bunch of era score right now, which is great. There's a little more faith. So if he attacks my scout, I think the scout lives and I can clear the camp afterwards. But I, I, I'm a little more comfortable with their health situation now. Um, first settler is only 150. Am I going to go Magnus with provision for Settler Spam? I don't think so. The reason I don't think so is we have solid food here and not a lot of tiles. So Ottawa losing population at this stage of the game doesn't really make me sad. Um, the other thing we can do is buy this Settler now. But again, do we want to wait for... I'd really like to hit another Earth Goddess City. Are we, are we comfy settling underneath this volcano? Is it weird that I kind of want to uh, have this be National Park Slater, potentially, and then like settle off water and get an aqueduct? Because we're going to have to start looking at some settles. I 
Man, the lack of seaside resorts in Tundra is a huge bummer. I haven't played Canada basically since launch. I really want that. I really want to get some more faith per turn going, uh, and we do that very, very naturally with uh, with just settling more. Uh, I don't want, I don't remember what my ranks reflect, but they're both pretty low. I thought claim it was luxuries like see how quickly we make up our population here. Would that I could build a district. Might wind up har uh, hard teching it. We could honestly maybe start with either uh, Liang in the Mausoleum City or Pingala straight away. We could also look at um, Amani as a suzerain target. I think I like that actually a lot. Nazca, grabbing Nazca. Like it's going to be a long time before we can get over here. So them grabbing tiles is kind of whatever. Try to squeeze in a first Zeus here, right up on uh, Wilhelmina. I kind of like that too. They want government plazas, great merchant, holy sites, spearmen, encampment, scientist, and trade route. So we'll be able to send them a trade route. They'll expand to the horses, uh, but that should give us better, um, better movement through here, which we really, really like. And I think it's early enough in the game that I'm, I'm looking at uh, some suzerains. So I think I'm gonna start with Amani. Kamani's pretty solid. And then Muscat seems good to me. Um, she's likely to soothe them fairly early, so hopefully we can sneak it in. It's fine for now. Good morning to Australia. How's it going down under? Not what I want to see. Especially, okay, hold on. I got to look at that again. Especially because they can switch and he can sh the slinger can shoot my dude. So I don't like that. Am I switching to settlers in the cap next? No. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, monk. Okay, so that's, yeah, that was bound to happen. Um, not too much of a bummer. We're, we're fairly far apart here. Um, makes, our, makes our diamond choice here as opposed to like this diamond choice of a settle a little bit better, I think. Um, and again, we have tons of room for cities down here. Big day tomorrow indeed, random tangents. I'm excited. So back up to four pop. We go ahead, grab our suzerain here. Again, they should grab the horses unless there's something under Vesuvius that is tasty. Nope, they grabbed the horses. And yeah, look at that Vesuvius. Only like two tiles, maybe three. No, because that's mountain. Only two tile Mount Vesuvius. That's kind of brutal. It's a bit unlucky. So no districts unlocked. We're just going to hard tech through state workforce. This is a very slow politi political philosophy. Um, I think granary is okay. I really want to be able to do this. So eight turns until I can start this. So what do we do with eight turns? Get a granary and a builder maybe? Uh, 
And we can improve the silk. Yeah, that makes sense. Good luck with the barbs, Korea. I think I like this settle just fine, yeah? Could also go in between the mountains. Seems okay. Building up Adana. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to Maya. I'm looking forward to all the new civs. It's going to be fun. I love new stuff. I love figuring stuff out. It's like my favorite time of anything. <laughs> she just declared on them as we're about to get our suzerain. So we'll just grab the suzerain and move. And yeah, I think I like this city right right in place. We get a 2-2 base. We have a 2-2 tile to start with. A little bit of housing potentially uh, here-ish. Although this should probably be a district. This might wind up being a district too. I'm just looking at that going, that's five appeal. That's a good amount of tourism, etc., etc. I forgot that he's not going to like me because of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro. Chill it out. So, Earth Goddess. This is what we want. Why would you not work that tile? Start there with the granary. Um, and then the monument. Because they don't have the housing yet. Iron on that tile. Thousands have lived without. <laughs> Can probably get another settler here soon ish. We're getting iron, iron from our suzerain. Mexico City settled on iron. It goes Apadana. There goes the eruption. Uh, rip, rip the uh, uh, sheep as we knew would happen, but it actually made that tile better. So we're a Civ on a TSL map. I think it's Indonesia. It's a really brutal spawn spot for her. Oh, nice. We're getting some help. I didn't even see the chocolate hills here. Oops. Very nice road. Ties in Montreal. Okay, let's 
see if we can do that. PJM, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So we'll block uh, this warrior from coming to take it. Uh, oh, yeah. We got our suzerain right. We need to move Imani. <laughs> oh, rip. Rip a Reno. Um, Nazca, maybe? We could also um, get to mysticism here fairly quickly. Do we just start here? What are they going to grab? They're going to grab, like, the stone and the cattle. And we'll probably come settled down here at some point, but that, that's okay. Because they're... I think, I think Amani's just going to kind of do a world tour here. So we're not, we're not looking to, like, Mommy. set up shop and be suzerain anywhere quite yet. So I think... I think I'll start here. Oh, hi. An enormous and lofty. Why can't we spawn next to that? That seems Canadian. <laughs> There's those quads we were talking about earlier. No, Amani can't get uh cannot benefit from Diplomatic League. Not a thing. I'm glad we got that. Uh, I'm really glad we got that that suzerain in before she killed them. Alcine, I don't really talk about stuff like that on stream. I think that's a, a probably a great conversation to have. But uh, we have a political portion of the Discord. If you wanna, if you wanna engage anybody about that. But I don't really, I don't, I try not to get into politics on stream. It's just. I I don't know how to do anything with politics other than talk about how I feel and there that's not it, I don't know it's just it's too it's too touchy it's it, especially here in America things are too divided I I just I I steer clear talking about it publicly but I I'm happy to engage in the discord about it um when it's not so in everybody else's face if that makes sense um let's go to currency then How do I feel about apartheid? <laughs> it's okay. It's a cool question. I, I, I'm sure that's a fascinating conversation. Turn 65 political philosophy incoming. That's pretty terrible. And Iris Red, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Welcome back to the shop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Love you, buddy. Welcome back. Thank you for the four months. What's your favorite hot dog and why is it tacos? I told you I didn't want to get controversial. Boast the S, dude. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Tens of dollars. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I love it, buddy. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. And if you got a if you got a free sub from Bill Bozius, make sure you say thank you and maybe th maybe thank him as well by following his channel. <laughs> How many holes does a straw have? One. Second governor title. Who do we want now? Pingala now. I almost like the Liang now. And we'll go Pingala next. After some Settler Spam. Is that going to time out with this? It will. And then eventually we're going to want Liang here for fisheries and stuff anyhow. 
<laughs> I'll say. What are your opinions on on uh, pineapple pizza? You guys, I told you I don't want to be controversial. I don't. I don't. One ninety five for this next one. Everybody killing the city states. We'll uh, protect our warrior just in case. Okay, Governor Plaza time. That means we need to start thinking a little bit about districts. So let's think about districts. And what other cities we want. Do we want two cities below us here or is that good enough? And do we clear the deer? I might clear the deer. YOLO BABA, thank you for the repeat sub, dude. So much, I appreciate that. Welcome back into the shop. Good to have you here. Thank yes, you, thank you, thank you. I'm thinking about harvesting this deer. I know that there are, there's a benefit here with TOA, but there's a lot of production that we can gain as well. Um, and then and I think it opens up a slightly better government plaza, although I'm not certain on that yet. I'm trying to picture it. It's almost like this should have been one off and the government plaza should have been here. But this picked up that, which means we might want to come settle this. What about a city here? How awful is that? It doesn't feel good. None of these cities feel great. Maybe just one city down here and forget this. I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. We could settle this. Get a harbor. Maybe. So we do that one. We do something down here as well. So there's two there. Maybe, got to think about parks. We definitely want to think about parks and our Mounties. A little nervous that I won't get these, but that could be a good park. Southwest of the Silk. Why there though? So this is, this is the way I look at things. So if we settle here, we do pick up a couple extra sea resources, but we also buy ourselves into basically a bunch of dead tiles in the uh, in in the ice, and and frankly just sea tiles, right? We give up a hill for production, we get the same harbor, and we borrow eh, probably an equal amount of land from our capital here. Versus a city down here actually picks up double crabs, making their harbor se seemingly good, right? The snow tiles could be districted on if we wanted to. You know, potentially like this. We could also settle the snow hill, but then we give up on the uh, silk, and I don't want to do that. Why do the crabs make for a better harbor? Um, 
I, I just I just think look the, this city gets one two three four C resources, and this city would get one two right. So the harbor and getting the lighthouse improving four tiles is simply better than a harbor and a lighthouse improving two tiles. Because the lighthouse gives us food on coast tiles, and then it makes them it makes it so we actually want to work tiles like this. Like the, uh, the the harbor gets a lot of like coastal benefits eventually, right? One food on all coast tiles. Uh, eventually, you get up here and get your shipyards, which are here, and then you get food. Um, that that's more of an adjacency bonus thing. And then later on in the game, um, not that we'll necessarily get it, but seaports give you uh, two gold to all coast tiles. So it just it just makes these viable tiles. Does every get district get plus one if it's next to a city center? No. Your city center counts as a district, and so it's a half a one. Am I going to go for St. Basil's? Possibly. Certainly a possibility. So I think I like the government plaza here. Shipyards gives production to unworked tiles. You mean unimproved tiles? Yeah, but why do you want to be working that? Why do you want to work uh, a two food, one production, one gold tile? Right? So, like, yeah, sure, the shipyard, like, makes these worse tiles better, but they're still bad tiles. actually just do this that could be theirs this could be ours you could get so this is what I like to do with early wonders right first city this city this city oh, and this city. So this, um, we, we do need to figure out where the government plaza goes within this, but this is exactly what you want to be doing with like an early wonder type of a game. This needs a little help to be a plus three district, but this is already plus three. This is already plus three. And then this needs a little help to be a plus three district. Yeah, I'm thinking we don't need the government plaza here now, now that I'm looking at it more and more and more. So then maybe they do this here. And maybe the government plaza goes here? No, that's this is so sad. We need to get it soon. I guess it could just go here. Chop this woods, boost two more theater squares and then their commercial hub. That's a little bit better. That's just a little bit better. I'm going to bother with entertainment districts and hockey rinks. Um, probably like a couple. Is there a governor opener when you don't involve Magnus? I'm doing one right now, yeah. I am doing one right at this very moment. So they'll get a harbor. This could be their campus. That campus is plus one, plus two. Not great. But it's not bad. This boosting even five districts seems okay. So what I want to do is actually chop this uh, and get started on the government plaza. Yikes. All right. 
If you chop before assigning production in the city, what happens? You get you get that amount stored up in a queue that gets applied to your next thing. When that gets problematic is when um is is when you miss out on like bonuses from uh from policy cards and things like that. What game speed do we play on? We play on standard speed. You can always tell by looking at the turn timer. Standard speed gives you a maximum of 500 turns. Uh, online is 250 and marathon is 1,000. And there are variants within that as well. So no Apadana for us, which is a little sad. You want my Diplo favor for cotton. How about for money? Harbors are better calm, yeah, but merchants are better than admirals. Is Marathon 1500? I mean, whatever it is. I never play those, whatever those are. But you can always tell by the turn timer. So I have six turns until I can build this stupid building. I could squeeze in a campus, that's a reasonable idea. I also think another builder is fairly reasonable. So now we go Pingala, maybe? Two turns until we're established there. Just gonna have this guy kind of chill and wait for barbs. Definitely wanna be selling our resources this game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to first prioritize trades to people that we're uh, obviously not right next to, but also people that don't like us. What is that? Government Plaza? Okay. I think, I think Pachacuti needs some aid. Ouchies. A lot of fertilization, though. Seven turns on pyramids. Gonna play Columbia first. I think this city's fine to settle. I also think waiting, like, it's, it's a little far. Well, we could maybe like go try to get established somewhere like fairly f like far away from our capital. You know? Because then it gives us time to build the building and we'll get a free builder. Question about selling luxuries. Do you think it gives the AI more ca capacity to expand faster and stronger? I don't think noticeably. I don't think noticeably. So much tundra. Cold map is cold. Cap needs some love. We also need earth goddess stuff. Should send their builder over here, get them some housing. No seaside resort planning south of the camp. The problem with uh, the prot like this can be a seaside resort. 
But the problem with Canada is you can't put seaside resorts in Tundra. So, like, sure, we can probably do that if we beautify the land around it, although it's pretty rough. It's currently at minus two. Goes up to one. Yeah, that's not even doable. Yeah, that's the, that's another, like, weird thing about Canada. You think specialty um, national park and, and tourism and stuff, but then not being able to get a bunch of seaside resorts is uh, is, 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 is bad, too. But it'll be fun when we get to Mounties. Mount up. Hockey rink's a bad replacement for seaside resorts. Yeah, that, that's a good way of looking at it, too. You cannot build seasides in Tundra, no. Nope, nope, nope. We settle in no water city? Yeah, in Montreal. I didn't want to settle under the volcano. I also think that this makes a pretty good national park, assuming we don't want to put a campus there. So three turns. That's a really slow political philosophy. It's because I didn't get monuments first. We might not even have a monument here yet, do we? Oh, no, we did. We got it. Kenny, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Means we can skip Christo. Yeah, that's a, that, that, is a, that is a good point. I think we're going to really reach with this city. It might really punish us, but at what point do you start planning parks? Once we have a more established empire or at least have more cities planned. So he earned one naturally. Oh, they are all gone. Profit, profit. So Dido, yeah. So Dido and Korea both got profits. As we suspected, he got one. He got one first. Uh, but it would have been it would have been a definitely a foot race to get there, and we hadn't even teched holy sites, so we didn't really have anything to boost us. So I think we made the right choice with Exodus there, or not going Exodus there rather. Oracle? Yeah. Oracle. 63 Machu Picchu. There it is. I wish I could store production. Oh, I forgot that that was there. I forgot about that goody hut. All right. Wie handel weigert, denkt vaak dat hij maar van ons kan pakken wat hij wil. Hij heeft het flink mis. Okay, so political philosophy. I don't think we're spamming out wonders. And I think it's a little too early for... Um, I think it's a little too early for Classic Republic. Although I keep like forgetting to switch into this before I get out of ol oligarchy. Um... Maybe I don't need this. Let's 
So let's put in Diplo League and go get our Envoy. <laughs> Working internet today? I know, right? It's a, it's a Christmas miracle. Two turns left, so probably not worth doing it. Probably not worth it. Um, yeah, I like the uh, charismatic leader here. Diplo as our wild card. Production from urban planning. And a little bit of gold. Buying tiles isn't the worst, actually. And then we want to switch into this. Uh, we very much want the Ancestral Hall. It's going to give us 50% increased production towards settlers. Uh, and then our new cities will get a free builder. So that's a thing. Uh, and then I want to go, actually, before drama and poetry, I do want these theater squares very, very quickly. Uh, but I want to go mysticism first. What if we come over here and like settle turtle cities? I think I like that. Hello. Sim. Hey man, thank you so much. Welcome back for five months. I really appreciate that. It's good to see you. Good to see you and thank you for the support. Yeah, because the envoy. So so we we slot in Diplo League, we take a two-turn policy switch at Mysticism, and it also nets us an envoy, which we then get to set send out with Diplo and then switch that policy out. Uh possibly for I don't know. Probably nothing good quite yet. Do you guys get an early government? Am I always an early government plaza builder? I am. Fa I would. I am probably more famously uh, the type of person that just doesn't build it at all because I can never decide on where it goes. The DLC comes out in about uh, nine hours. Sim. But who's counting, indeed? Who is counting? May I stay up late and play tonight? No. I'll be streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming tomorrow. We'll have a full day of it. All right. So now what? Um, Astrology is kind of right out. We don't need that. I wouldn't mind going towards our celestial navigation. So a couple sea resources for our harbor um, in our mausoleum city. That makes some sense. Could also go wheel and start thinking about lumber mills and stuff like that. I don't play a ton offline. I will play every once in a while offline. How many giveaways? I'm not totally sure yet. Not totally sure how many we'll have. Haven't played Old World. Everyone seems to want me to play Old World, so... Maybe I'll find time for that at some point. Alright, Pyramids. From the that would have been sad. P. Brank, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll probably have at least four or five giveaways tomorrow, is my guess. I like to say I practice. All right, so free builder with five charges, and we don't even have feudalism yet. How great is that? Um, let's get their sea resources going. Maybe get that. All right, so let's do the thing that we said we were going to do. 
Also, we have established here. So we got our era score and our suzerain. Uh, Nazca is right out. You guys were probably right. I should have gone there first. But we can send to Nan and then go take... Oh, at war with Korea, though. I guess I, maybe this is a little safer. Also, look at all this land. I love the cocoa. Yeah, I think maybe that's a little better. Great general is not really going to happen. And then I'll move Amani there for the era score. We're already at 50 of 62. So let's switch out a Diplo League. We are, let's see, seven turns here. So we can wait to drum and poetry to switch into colonization. We're not going to, I'm not going to run scientist points. We are, we're, we're, we're lacking some good policies to be running at this stage. But I think it's okay. Settler production five. We know we're not starting settlers until seven. There's that boost. Give them a little bit of housing as well. Can probably justify working a food tile for them so that they grow a little bit. This is Earth Goddess stuff. Like, I kind of want to buy these tiles. We could buy these tiles. And go after the lumber mill. Could also do a mine there. They do. They could use some production. Like, look at how poor our capital is just in, in tile quality. It's very, very weak. Very, very weak. Can get very, very tall. Um, but lacking a ton of production. I think I like this. And I'll make a mine there. Being a little cautious with that guy because we had seen barbs. I can make tundra farms. Woohoo! I don't believe in Istra. <laughs> I'm going to do this first. How you said what's better? A mountainside campus with good adjacency or leave that tile for an earth goddess or park? It's just situational. You just kind of take that as it comes. It just really depends on where you're at and what you're doing. So we'll go celestial nav and then try to get to lumber mills. Little bit better today, Hogue, yeah. We've only dropped 26 frames. 
Better than like the 26% of yesterday. I can actually make this mine and not lose Earth Goddess there. Just give them a better tile. <laughs> indeed, Hemlock, indeed. So, this is that decision point that was just brought up in chat. How do you decide here? Do you decide that this is better with Earth Goddess and a future national park, or do you want a plus five campus? I would say in most cases, I'm very interested in the plus five campus. The thing that's that's making me not want to do this is Liang already has a permanent home here in Halifax uh, due to fisheries and stuff like that. And so I'm not really going to be able like, I don't really want to build a plus five campus that I have to just keep repairing, right? Um, so I'm more interested in either this plus two or this plus two or any of these other ones, really. Um, and I'll leave this be a future national park because we have something productive to do to it later. Um, so I think that's where my head's at. For this i might have missed last month also buy Sub, this. how you doing tgm hey, that's okay What's by up, the so? way how have you, you tried old worlds yet <laughs> no Game i have not has me hyped i i have not uh i've heard good things i, I just i haven't had time everyone wants me to try it <laughs> so sorry freak so welcome back for six months man thanks for bringing that prime back over and over i appreciate that a lot thank you thank you thank you uh and actually speaking of all that let's go ahead and put a cut in the video while we while we continue to decide make some decisions here uh thank you so much if you're watching over on youtube and we will see you in the next one i hope you guys are by the time you're seeing this i hope you guys are enjoying the new civ content that's out see you then <laughs>